Hello friends, today let's start by importing the architecture plan from AutoCAD once again. File, Import, Architectural Plan, then click Open. This time we will be importing the architectural plan to Story 3. It is because in the tabs while drawing the column, the column is drawn from the top side to the bottom side. After selecting this story 3, overwrite the existing CAD entities, we will click OK. See, now the file has been imported and it is in the story 3. Next, we will go to define. Then material properties. Etabs has already given the following material properties, but we will define another material property which we need to use in our structural design. We will go to add new material, select India, material type as concrete, standard is Indian. We will select grade as M25 concrete. Then we will click OK. Now, according to our material property that is M25 concrete, it has already given the following specifications which we can verify. Then we can click OK. Then we will define another material. So go to add new material. This time material type will be rebar, that is reinforcement bar. The grade will be HYSD grade 450. Then click OK. We will just change the name of HYSD 415 to FE 415. Now we can just verify the following data. Then click OK. Then we have defined two materials, M25 and FE415. Now we can click OK. Next step is go to define section properties, then frame sections. In this, we will be defining our sections for beam, column. So we will go to add new property. Then we will select concrete rectangular section. We will give the property name as B 20 by 10. Material will be M25. The depth of the beam will be 100 mm and width of the beam will be 200 mm. Then we will click OK. Now again we will go to add new property. Then we will select concrete rectangular section. Then we will give the name as beam 20 by 30. We will give the material as M25. The depth will give us 300 mm and width will give us 200 mm. Now we will click OK. Again we will go to add new property. We will select rectangular section. This time we will give that property name as column 20 by 20. We will select the material as M25 itself. So the range of the column is 200 mm by 200 mm. Then we will click OK. So now two B and one column we have created. Now we will click OK. 
Now we'll go to define section properties. Then we'll go to slab sections. Here we'll go to add new property as we have done in the earlier case. Then we'll give the name as slab. Then material will set as M25. And thickness of the slab we can give it as 100. Then we we'll click OK. So the slab section we have created. Then we will click OK. Next, we will go to define. Then load pattern. Here you can see that ATAPS has already defined two load conditions that is dead load and live load. By selecting this tab, we can add other load combinations also, such as wind load, seismic load, etc. But in this case, we are going to neglect the effect of wind load and seismic load. But I will do another tutorial series in which we can incorporate the effect of wind and seismic load in the design of a multi story building. The remaining loads, such as snow load, etc., also is available in eight tabs. If and when required, we can give that also. So, for the time being, we'll leave it as it is and click OK. Now, we'll go to define, then load combinations. In this, we'll click add default design combos and select composite beam design and concrete frame design. Then we'll click this convert to user combinations so that we can edit the load combinations that ETAPS is providing us. So we'll click OK. Here we get the following load combinations which ETAPS has auto-generated as per the Indian standard codes. We can now just review these load combinations and can edit its name so that we can easily identify it later on. So we will go to modify bar show combo then we will just give the name as 1.4 DL then we will click OK. Similarly for the second one we will go to modify bar show combo then we will give the name as 1.2 DL then click OK. In the third case, we will go to modify bar show combo. We will give the name as DL. Then we will click OK. Similarly, we can do the remaining. Now we can click OK. Now as we are all set with the material and section properties of all the three structural members, that is beams columns and slab. In our next tutorial section, I will show you how to draw all the three structural members in ETABS with the help of the architectural plan which we have imported. Like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and do leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thank you and see you soon.